Good morning, Craig Howard here this morning. Happy to be with you again and just wanting to share a couple th thoughts with you real quickly. You know, I've, I've heard people say they would like to witness to their neighbors or they would like to, to share uh, the gospel with a friend, but they just don't know what to do. They don't know where to start. And there's lots of things I could go through and teach you and show you. And maybe I'll do that one morning, a simple uh, a simple way to take people through the plan of salvation. But I was reading this morning about an Iraqi citizen who, um, when the United States invaded Iraq, um, he joined the U.S. military as an interpreter and um, whatever. And uh, he became part of the security force. He eventually took SWAT training and all of that. But he was raised, of course, Muslim, and uh, he had a friend that he kept noticing was sitting around all the time reading his Bible. And he came to his friend one day and he said, why do you spend so much time reading your Bible? And he said, in the pages of this Bible are the answers to life's questions. And he said, I want to find the answers to life's questions. So his friend started him in the book of John and told him to read the book of John and gave him some other scriptures he could read and some things in Psalms and, and Proverbs and um, some other passages for him to read. And over time, this guy came to him. He, he felt the conviction of the Lord. He felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit speaking to his heart. And, and the word of God was speaking to him through the pages that he read. The Holy Spirit was speaking to him through these pages as he read them. And he said, I need to know more. I, I need to know this Savior the Bible talks about. And in time, he came to his friend and he said, how do I become a Christian? And his friend said, you simply ask. You simply confess that you're a sinner and that you need a Savior and you want to invite Jesus to be your Savior. He said, I can't do that for you. You have to ask. And he said, that's all I need to do is ask Jesus to be my Savior, ask for my sins to be forgiven. And, and he said, isn't that what the Bible said? And he took him to a few passages in the Bible in Romans, um, uh, especially Romans 10, 9 and 10. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Um, Romans 10, that was 10, 9 and 10. Romans 10, 13 says, um, for whoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Um, and so he, he went off by himself and he prayed a prayer asking God to forgive him for his sins and to come into his heart and be his savior. What was interesting to me about this story is when this man came to him and said, why are you reading the Bible? He didn't try to he didn't try to educate him. He didn't try to argue with him. He didn't try to lecture him. He didn't try to give him some big spiel about what the Bible was and the history of the Bible and all that. He said, you just need to read it. You just need to read it and see what it says to you. And so he did. And that drew him through the work, through the Holy Spirit working through the pages of the Bible. That drew him into a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes the hardest thing to do when sharing God's love with a person is to keep your mouth shut. Don't try to debate with them over Scripture. Just point them to Scripture. Just point them to the Word of God and let the Holy Spirit use the power of the Word of God to bring conviction and enlightenment to their hearts and lives. Well, the Bible tells us in Matthew 5.16 in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just let the testimony of your life and the power of the Word of God do the work that needs to be done. God bless you in all you do today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Mom and Dad, if you're watching, I love you.